the final final day. day. Power yoga for athletes. Over 100 poses with photos, 25 full yoga flows, training logs for each sport. Buy it wherever books are sold. My friends, welcome to day three of our Yoga for Football Conditioning Challenge. You've made it. This workout is all about a relentless, unyielding, consistent power yoga flow. Because in football, every snap of the ball, every play is unwritten. It's all spontaneous, and your success depends on your mind and your body's ability to adapt to each situation and challenge that comes up for success or for failure. So we're going to push our boundaries. We're going to increase our oxygen uptake with this workout so your body processes the oxygen much more efficiently and, of course, build overall strength, stamina, endurance, this a lot, and flexibility. If you want to keep going with my yoga workouts, make sure you check in right now below. And also, I'll put the link on the screen and the about section below. I have a seven-day full yoga challenge you can move on to from this. And then when you're done with that, you'll see it in the... um, the link, I have a seven day power yoga challenge. So I wanna keep you moving, doing these workouts just about every single day so you can be a beast. Practice, 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 let's go. All right, make sure you share this series with your coaches and your teammates. I wanna see photos of y'all doing these workouts on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Look me up at Sean Vig Fitness. Keep me posted, always check in. Okay, this is going to be, a, a, as I said, a relentless, consistent yoga flow. This is a challenge for me to keep it very consistent all the way through. But we want to keep hitting and smashing through that threshold physically and mentally, perhaps even spiritually. You can take it that far too if you like. That is up to you. But emphasis on the breath, in the nose, out the nose. Efficient movement, efficient breathing. Let's come to the front edge of our mat. Sun salutations. Get the blood flowing and the breath flowing. Are you ready? All right, let's make something extraordinary here. Always extraordinary. Shoulders back and down, feet hip width apart. Press those heels into the mat, and then bring the hands together in front of the chest. We have the sun, but we don't know for how long. So shoulders back and down. Take a big inhale, breathing into the abdominals. Abdominals, um, lower back and the sides. This whole area right here. A fun fact about me is that I trained as an opera singer. I sang opera and music theater professionally for many years, and that's how we breathe. So breathe in, pooch it out, exhale, pull the belly button into the spine. Always refocus with the breath. You want to drown the muscles in the oxygen. All right, on the next inhale, reach up. Sun salutations. Exhale, pull the arms, dive down. Squeeze out the breath, a little softness in the knees. Inhale, reach up, flat back. Exhale, dive down. We're adding a little extra to the front of this sun salutation. Inhale again, flat back, fingers on the mat or the shins. Shoulders pulling back, stretch the spine. Exhale, tuck the chin, dive down. Put the weight into the tips of the toes. Now on the next exhale, step your right foot back lunge. You'll recognize a lot of poses we've already worked on and we add to them in this series. Fingers down or reach the arms up. Whoop, okay. All right, hinge forward, set the hands down, step back to plank, hands under the shoulders. Remember, relentless, elbows in, building stamina and endurance. Press forward, lower down, elbows hugging the sides, chaturanga, forelimb staff, hover, modify with the knees down. Inhale, shoulders up, cobra, or you can press to upward facing dog. Lift the shoulders, lift through the chest, squeeze the glutes and the tops of the thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, a little looseness. Now, right leg up, right foot forward, lunge. You can drop the left knee if you wish. Press that left heel down. Reaching back, all right, hinge forward. Set the hands down, left foot forward, forward fold. Tuck the chin, vertebrae by vertebrae. That's tough to say. (laughs) We lift up, stacking, stacking. Shoulder rolls, extra one right here. And bring the hands together in front of the chest, shoulders back and down, good. That was one side, let's shift to the left side. Inhale, up, back bend, exhale, swan dive. 
unravel that spine. Flat back, inhale, fingers on the floor or the shins, shoulders back. Posture, alignment, exhale, tuck the chin, dive down. Feel that spine decompressing. Again, inhale, flat. Anytime you need to modify something, go ahead. It's a process. Exhale, dive. You're always building. Okay. Exhale, take the left foot back, lunge. Fingers down or reach up. Hinge forward, step back, plank. Boom. Shoulders in. Press forward, lower. Cobra or upward facing dog. Squeeze the glutes, lift. Let the breath infuse every part and facet of the pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tailbone up, heels down. Inhale, left leg up, left foot forward. Smooth out the transitions, always sanding the edges, polishing them. Remember, everything you do on this mat translates to success on the field or any sport or activity. Come forward, exhale, right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, rising up, build. Shoulders back and down, arms up this time, back bend. Exhale, hands, heart center. Shoulders back and down. Let's do it once more on each side. A little faster, same control. Inhale. Dive. Skip the flat back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Lunge. Balance, core strength. Forward, step or jump back. Plank, forward. You can keep the leg lifted if you wish. Up dog or cobra. Lift. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Left or right foot forward. Lunge. That's how we say it. Lunge. Okay, forward. Left foot. Boom. Chin to the chest. Rise up. Build and stack that spine. All 33 vertebrae. Shoulders back. Arms up. Palms together. Focused. Aware the breath is penetrating every part, every cell of the body. Once more on the left side. Dive. Good. Working out the kinks. Left foot back. Lunge. You can lace the fingers or the arms up. Remember our touchdown. Hinge forward. Step or jump back. Keep that right leg up if you wish. Down. Good. Utilize that breath. Up dog or cobra. Adapting, adapting. Down dog. Inhale, left leg. Left foot lunge. Sequence them together. Hinge, right foot, boom. Chin to the chest, rise up, excellent. Stack, stack, stack. Two shoulder rolls. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Press back, chair. We are right here. When we introduce something new, always remember shoulders back and down. We don't want this. This cuts everything off. We want to open up the whole structure. <sighs> open up the, the bones, the ligaments, the muscles, the joints. Good. Pressing back a little further. With the exhales, the toes should be loose. Should be able to wiggle the toes. All right, dive down. Lace the fingers behind you. Mudra, bend the knees. Chest to the thigh. Good. Total body maintenance. One more breath. Draw the arms back. Exhale, drop the arms. Fingers to the mat or the shins. Flat back. Bend the knees. Left hand. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Twist. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Good. Twisting, very important. Loosen up the lower back. Let's do it two more times on each side. On this beautiful day, wherever you're training with me from, where are you? Where are you in the world? And one more time on the left side. Oh, yeah. We got the clapping insects back there. Dive down, forward fold, hands together, palms together. Lift up once again, chair. 
If you like tippy toes, work those calves, work the balance. Keeping the integrity of the chair. Two more breaths. And we're gonna keep flowing and flowing, busting through all our plateaus and our thresholds. Heels down, mudra. Bend the knees. Two more breaths. Really dig, dig. Can you dig it? All right, drop the arms, inhale, flat back. Step or jump back, plank, boom. Forward, lower down. Inhale up dog or cobra. Shoulders back, downward facing dog. All right, let's raise that heart rate. We're gonna do some consistent power vinyasa flows with the lunge. So left leg up, left foot forward, lunge. Let's work on agility, balance, smoothing everything together with the flow. Hinge forward, step or jump back, plank and then down. Inhale, up dog. Remember, you can step back to plank and then lower down. Back to down dog. Right leg up, right foot forward, lunge. Line it up, now focus. Hinge forward, step or jump. Shoulders back. Down dog. Left side, lunge, left leg. Again. Down, step or jump. But make sure you press forward. Shoulders in front of the wrists. Down dog. Right leg, you still with me? Practice these. You'll sweat, you'll shake, you'll feel amazing after and during. I feel great. Oh, and down dog. Once more, each side. Left leg, left foot forward. I do these a lot in my own workouts. When I'm doing weight training and whatnot, I always add in a lot of vinyasa flows. Right leg forward. Down, step or jump. Up dog. All right, downward facing dog. Take an extra breath. Smush those heels down. Catch your breath for a moment. Every second, every second of these workouts, we're doing something very beneficial for ourselves. Every second. All right, left leg up. Left foot forward, eagle lunge. Blast from the past. Left arm forward, right arm underneath. Lift. Press the right heel down. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. Two more breaths. Really loosen up the shoulders, the back of the neck, the upper back. New variation. Lengthen both the legs. We have a pyramid stretch with the eagle arms. If it's too much, you can unravel the arms and bring your hands to that left leg. Hinging, either way, hinge over that leg. It's a very unique stretch, very different. Hamstrings, shins, little IT band, fingers forward. Two more breaths. Woo, unravel just in time. Step or jump back, down, up dog, downward facing dog, other side, eagle lunge, right foot, right arm forward, left arm underneath, good awareness, here we are, inhale up, exhale, sink into the legs, just got an adjustment in my shoulder, one more breath, Learn to slow down the breath, much more efficient. Lengthen the legs, here we are. Eagle Pyramid. Fingers forward, balance. One more breath, efficient, efficient breathing, efficient movement. All right, unravel, hands down, step or jump back. Bring it down. Whew. How do I get down? Okay, up dog, 
or cobra twist. Either here or a leg goes behind. Very effective. Lower back strength and flexibility. Okay, back to up dog. And downward facing dog. Forearms down, boom, dolphin. Palms flat. You can bring the knees down to modify. Work your upper body towards your legs. Huge work for your back and shoulders. And stretching everything else. Three more breaths. Remember, you can drop your knees and press back or bend the knees a little further. Not bad. Hands down, down dog. Walk the hands to the feet. Let the spine release. Inhale, rise up. Stack, stack, stack. Shoulders back and down. Extra shoulder roll. The sun has come back out. All right, tuck the chin, diving down again. Walk it out to down dog. And once again, plop those forearms down. Now you can stay here in the dolphin working on that or add a little movement. You go forward slightly and then press back. Don't do one without the other. Inhale forward, exhale back. Really feel that in the shoulders and the back. Forward and back. Five more times. Woo. Woo is right. You with me? Doing great. Doing great. Even if you're just watching this, waiting to jump in. It's there. My counting stinks. One more time. Three more breaths. Hold the dolphin. Sink those heels down. Breathe. More lung capacity. More efficient oxygen uptake. All right. Down dog. Walk the hands back. Whew. Tell you what, reach them back behind you. Lace the fingers mudra. There it is. So much shoulder care. Two more breaths. Bend the knees. Okay, drop the arms. Inhale, rising up. Stack, stack, stack. Whew. Shoulders back, little shake. Little balance here. Tree pose. Take your left hip, open it up, hands together. Take the heel below or above the knee. Or take the ankle top of the thigh. Whoop. You can always touch the toe down like I just did. Relax that right standing knee. Find your focus. Three more breaths. Ooh. One more breath. Okay, now take that ankle on top of the leg. If not, just stay in tree if this isn't working right now. Work towards it and press back. This is a crouching tree, hands together. So all the weight goes into your glutes. Side view here, keep going. So we're, oh, hey, all right, we're back. Right here, press into the glutes. Feel that threshold where your body starts to tremble and shake with joy. Two more breaths. All right, set the foot down, rise up. Shoulder roll. Shoulder roll, switch it, other side. Open up the right hip, find that spot. Release the shoulders down, pull the belly button into the spine with each exhale. And ground that left foot, ground it down, balance. Two more breaths. Stay here, bleib hier, oder, or take the ankle on top of the thigh, and we press back. So we have a hip opener, we have the glutes working, a core balance. Who could ask for anything more? Toyota. Three more breaths. All 
Oh, beautiful, my friends. All right, let's make it work. Come back down to the mat. Step back to plank. Remember our plank ups from day two? Let's do 10, starting with the right forearm. One. Left forearm. Two. Right on the palm tree. Three. Four. Five. Five more. Two more. Plank ups. Raises the heart rate. All right. Press forward, lower down. Drop that right leg behind. Ooh, the scorpion twist. Fatality. Other side. That's so good. Let's do it once more on each side. Make sure you, the person or the people you don't share these workouts with is your rivals. But they may have already discovered it. So we must do more and more. All right, back to the center. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Let's get into some warriors. Proud warrior to reverse warrior. Remember, keep going. Keep going. Left foot forward. Pivot the right foot. Fix the blouse. Shoulders back. Take this left hand down. Or the forearm can be on the thigh for now. It's called extended side angle. So either one. And then this arm triumphantly lifts up. Stretch that back leg. Drive that right heel into the mat. And keep this hip open. A lot of times we turn in, open it up. It's going to make your balance more challenging, but we're here because we want to challenge. We want to improve and get stronger every day. Now from here we go to reverse warrior. So inhale, left arm up, right arm lower back. Now let's take it back and forth ten times total. Five times each one. So here we go. You can also extend this arm. I like that. There's one. Steady speed. Three. Four. You can also take the hand behind the foot. Five. Lots of options. We're working out in real time. All body weight. The sky is the limit. Two more. It's a beautiful thing. Last one. Lace both the fingers together. Double reverse warrior. This is from day two. All right. Lengthen that left leg. Triangle. Here's a new one. Arms out. Squeeze those thighs. Arms out. Reach. Oh, fall backwards. <laughs> hinge. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Now bring this back of the hand to the inside of the leg. Inhale, the right arm goes up, or you can gently bring the fingers there. If you feel really open in this pose, bring the fingers all the way down. But draw the right arm back. Three breaths. Feel you're smushing in between a door and a screen door. Okay, bring the hands down. Step to down dog. Stretch it out. Get the schmutz, schmutzy off my mat. Okay. Right foot forward. Proud warrior. Turn the left foot in. Forearm down or down here. We're going 10 repetitions here. Back and forth to the reverse. If you want to do double hands the whole time, go ahead. So here's this or this. One. You can also take it here if you want to. More advanced. Always an add on. And you could do it in one tenth of a second. Change it. Five. Six. Oh, that's mighty core. Either option. Seven. Eight. Nine. Shoulders back. Ten. Now lift it up. Reverse. Warrior, either option. And moving into triangle, lengthen the legs. Smooth, arms out, hinge, and down. Extend out, all moving outward from your strong core, your abdominals, lower back, hips, and glutes.
One more breath. Extend, extend, reach. Let's take it back to plank. Press forward, down. Up dog or cobra. Easy does it. Shimmy it or cross the leg. I have some sweat trickling down my nose. Thumbs up for sweat. Let's see when it goes down the face. <laughs> ah, down dog. Get that out of there. There we are. Okay, keep it going. Left foot comes forward. Warrior stance. We're going to do warrior two to start. So plop the arms out. Strong. Shoulders down. The warrior cat cow. Bye bye sweat until next time. This is from day two also. We're going to exhale. Roll those shoulders forward. Squeeze out the shoulders. Inhale open. Don't disrupt the warrior legs. Six more times. So three more each one. Open. Round. Open. One more time each one. Good. Open it up. Now, hand comes down. Right arm extends or move into the wrap. Right arm lower back, left arm underneath. The wrap. Huge for the chest and shoulders. I keep thinking, open up the body. Open up the blood flow and the circulation. One more breath. Excellent. Set the hands down. Step back. Down dog. Stretch out the arms. Stretch out the legs. A little shake. Now bring the right foot forward. We have the warrior. Warrior two. Strong. Long lines. And then eight times the cat cow. Here we go. Balance, balance, take your eyes up. Two more times, each one. Good, once more, really round. Think of massaging the tension out of your shoulders. Open, open, and then we have the proud, the extension, the good, the bad, and the ugly, or the wrap. Breathe. Three more breaths. Dig deep. Let your body shake. Let it be a challenge. Let it be tough. That's what we want. Always getting stronger every day. All right. Hands come down. Step back. Downward facing dog. Heels to the outside edges, reach back. Left hand, grab the right foot or ankle, or just drop the hand down. Stretch, twist. Keep building on what we did the other two days, day one and two. You're not sure what I'm talking about? Just go back one or two videos and you'll see them on this channel. Other side. Every breath brings so much focus and energy and healing all right drag the fingers up slowly rise oh, keep going two shoulder rolls take the left foot step forward lunge let me give you a little mudra option here we keep attacking and attacking the shoulders so take the arms up oh cactus arms open Set that posture. Now bring them back behind you. Here we have our mudra. Drop the hands down. Yoga flows are pretty much endless. Endless possibilities. It's like having an eight hour conversation with your best friend at a cafe or a diner. You just keep going and going and going. There's no stop. It's like a Seinfeld episode. Now bring those hands to your right side. Shoulders back and down. So we have the lunge. Now pivot the back foot to warrior. Twist to your right, so you're facing me. Expand the chest, expand the breath. There's something on my back. 
Now you may stay here or dive. You're going to hinge and you can dive all the way down. Keep the hand to the side. Lead with the crown of the head. Three breaths. Building. Building. Always building. Alright, release the arm. Set the hands down. This is actually called a little Spider-Man warrior. Okay, and then walk it. <laughs> Rise back up. Boom. Two. Reverse. Let's go through a vinyasa flow before we go to the other side. Hands down, step or jump back. Down, up. Down dog. Okay. We're going. We're going. All right, bring that right foot forward. We have the lunge. Fix the glass. There we go. Take the arms up. Cactus arms first. Open. Breathe. Let the hands meet behind you in a bind in the mudra. Sink the left heel down into the mat. Okay, now bring the hands. Boom. The left side. We're going to transition to the warrior foundation. So we bring that left foot in. Now turn to the left. Take some notes, mental notes. How does it feel? What is it doing to your shoulder and your shoulder relation to your ears? You want your shoulders to slide down the back as we're engaging, engage the legs. Twisting to the left with the upper body. Now stay here, my friend, friend, or hinge. Oh, wait, quick, oh, right leg. Big spider right down there. Good, hope it comes on the mat. Or you could dive down. Look at that lung capacity. I'm filming at 8,000 feet, so 30% less oxygen than sea level. Okay, drop the arms. There's that spider man just for a second. Whew. Rise up, boom. Two, warrior two, and then reverse. Let the pinwheel and journey through the vinyasa flow. Step or jump. Would you go away? Okay, there you go. Upset. Irritable spider, but don't get involved in this flow. All right. Down dog. Oh, there's an ant, too. Let's stretch it out here. Take five deep breaths. Remember, every second doing something extremely beneficial. We never sit and wait. We are always occupying ourselves to improve, to improve. One more breath. Long, lean muscles. Think that. Visualize it. Okay. We'll shake out of the hands. Moving into a new pose. I'm a big fan of this one, but let's lead ourselves into it. Take the left foot forward. Let's do our proud or side angle. Warrior. Okay, so line it up. Stretch that leg. It's going to lead us into something called Bird of Paradise. Bird of Paradise. Now stay here or go into the wrap. I like to get into Bird of Paradise from the Warrior wrap. There's a few different options, but this one always speaks to me. Now, you may stay here, as I always say, or bring the right foot forward. You see where this one's going. Oh, lift the left foot off the mat. So we're binded behind us. We're opening up the shoulders. And then the final caveat, perhaps, if you want, is to extend that leg. Three breaths. It brought the sun out. My hands are slipping. It's all that sunscreen. <laughs> okay, now slowly bring it down. Very nice. Bird of paradise, something you really want to work on. Practice it, practice it. Step back. We have the wrap, proud warrior, or as we did day two, you can extend. Extend that left leg. I'm breathless, yes. One more breath. You can chop this workout up into two parts, too, if you like. Recommend it. Do it before your practice, before a game, or just on your own. All right, release. Set the hands down. Downward facing dog. A little profound on that side, so shake it out. Shake it out. As we invite ourselves, go to the other side. 
Before I do that, visualize it. Visualize the wrap, the proud warrior, the bird of paradise. See it in your mind. And keep saying, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Because our mind controls everything we do. Every little thing. It can be a battlefield. All right, we have our proud warrior. Choose your options. There's the wrap. Or the bee of pea, the bird of prey, bird of paradise. Quick nose itch. That's your left foot comes in, we lift up. This is always a fun one to teach. You get a lot of hopping. I hop myself sometimes. Okay, okay. Three more breaths. Taller. Taller. Beautiful, my friend. I can tell you're doing something exciting. All right, bring it down. Step it back. Wrap or proud or... Whoa, hey, okay. Blooper reel. Extend that right leg. I'm starting to feel it. There's never a dull moment. We are occupied 100%. Okay, release. Uh, step that left foot forward. Shake out the legs. Let's rise up. Shoulders back and down one more time. Shake it out. Okay, we're getting close. Getting close. I mean, the way I operate, you can grab a drink now if you want, shake it out. I will just keep going and going and going, like that eight hour conversation. I think the longest conversation I ever had with one of my best friends is about five. That was in Manhattan, New York at a diner, in my theater days. Okay, I wish you had transcripts from those. Feet hip width, shoulders back and down. Balance pose. Balance originates in the core area, the abdominal area, your belly button area. So pull it in on the exhales, not the inhales. Inhales, you have to expand. Exhales, boom, they pull back in. Always reasserting, reigniting that center. Take your right knee, let's bring it up. Place the fingers on the outside. Now, right now there's something wrong with my posture. I'm going to lift those shoulders up and I'm going to drop them down. There we are. It makes a big difference. You can stay here or move on. This is one that definitely challenged me. It's called um, head to knee pose. You're going to lace your fingers on the bottom and extend. Right away you'll feel areas of your body you may have not felt before. <laughs> Definite tightness, hamstrings and calves. Breathe. Three breaths. Okay, tree, oh, throw a wrench in there, tree or the crouching tree, either one. Remember this one? It's a tree or crouching, three breaths. Yeah, crouching tree. <laughs> Can't wait to hear what you think of this workout. Check in below. All right, take that right foot back, kick it back, and press forward, down. Hover. Up dog. Nice breeze. Downward facing dog. Walker jump forward. Rise up, chin to the chest. Two shoulder rolls. Quick shake out. Okay, now balance on the other side. Here we are. Posture, abs strong. Bring the left knee up. Soften that right knee a little bit. Shoulders back. Let it marinate for a second here. Stay here further or fingers underneath lace. This side's a little tighter. I'm wobbling with right with you. No one's perfect. We just keep practicing. We keep working. We stay focused. Three more breaths. Are you ready for the tree transition? Oh, okay. Oh, here or crouch. Okay, there we are. We've been going a while. It's relentless. Three breaths. OK, 
Okay, now through that vinyasa flow, right foot down, kick the left leg up, press forward, down. Up dog. Oh, I'm off my mat. Twist side to side here, or cross. First time, child's pose, knees outside edges, cap switch, child's pose with a twist, literally. So first press back, and we're going to twist side to side. So drive one arm into the mat, lift the other side up. Should feel really good, maybe some pops and some adjustments happening. One more time each side. Now slide back, take three breaths. Downward facing dog, just about there my friends. We're going to add a little extra twist here, a little core work, flexibility training, and then you are elevated back into the real world off the yoga mat with these benefits coming with you. Left foot forward, lunge with a twist from day two, prayer twist, palms together. Bring them down, twist to the left, arm on the leg, exhale, open, or you can open the arms too. Three more breaths, loosen up the sides. Revolving triangle is just popping in right there. Take your right hand to the mat, foot or the leg. Lengthen that left leg as you pivot the right foot in and lift the left arm up. Revolving triangle. IT band stretch from your hip to your knee. Each exhale, lengthen the left leg. Three more breaths. And also bring the arm here. Breathe into every spot of the body, every muscle, every bone, every ligament. All right, bring the hands down. Quick pyramid stretch, hands on the leg or the floor. And let's step back to down dog. Okay, moving into lunge twist on the other side. Right foot forward. Shoulders back. Whoop, hands together. Deep, penetrating breath. Twist. Exhale to the right. Bring it down. There we are. Three more breaths. Or open the arms. Your choice. Into revolving triangle. Set the left hand down. Pivot the left foot. Lengthen as much as you can this right leg and inhale reach. Line up the heels the best you can. Or arm here. But keep rotating. Three planes of movement. Side to side, front and back. Number three is the twist. Usually, get off my arm, usually the most overlooked. But it's so important for flexibility, especially originating in your lumbar area of your spine, your lower back which I believe about 80% of just Americans, or 85%, have some kind of lower back difficulty or problem. So these twists are very beneficial. All right, set the hands down, pyramid. Just want to grab as much as we can out of every pose, squeeze them dry, because that translates to our athletic performance. Strength, speed, flexibility, control, all right, step the left foot forward. Forward fold, let's come down to a seated position. I'm going to switch the cap. Remember our half boat. Do a little variation on that today. It's called the running boat. Incidentally, the running man with Arnold Schwarzenegger is a very good movie. He had to split. All right, feet flat, shoulders back and down. 
lifting, lifting through the crown of the head. Okay, bring the feet off the mat. Fingers can be gently on the legs or arms forward. Now the running boat, we're just going to take the arms slowly. No, 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 no. Stabilize the core. You could extend on one and bring it in on the other, like a piston, and then vary that up. Just keep it going. I'm going to stay right here. Let's do 20 more. Here's one, two, lift the feet a little higher, three, four, keep your posture, five, lots of breath, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, eleven, you got it, twelve, stronger every day. Be a beast on the field, whatever sport you do. Anyone, anybody. <sighs> Lost count, two more times. <laughs> okay, forward. Now stay here. I'd feel bad if I didn't introduce you to the extended boat. You can grab here and extend the legs or grab the feet or the ankles and bring them up. You wanna keep lengthening with the exhales on the inhales, well, actually lengthen on the inhale and the exhale, drop the shoulders down. Kind of like a seated downward facing dog. Your legs are going to shake. That's good. We're really challenging the hamstring and calf flexibility that leads up into your lower back and all the way up your paraspinal muscles. I mean, you look at your anatomy, all these muscles, when one goes out or becomes misaligned or the fascia on the muscle becomes damaged, it affects everything else. It's like the force. It all goes together. Everything works together. One more breath. Okay, come on down. Bridge. Lower down onto your back. Shoulder bridge. I'm going to show you how to do this for building a lot of integrity in your spinal column. Take your arms to the sides, fingers brushing the heels. Now your pelvis is right here. Like you have a cup of coffee or if you prefer tea, I drink about four cups of green tea a day, so I'm going to go with tea. You're going to tilt the pelvis up. You're balancing and you're going to lift from there. So you're peeling your spine off the mat instead of just lifting up and slamming it down. Now lace your fingers together underneath. You could also bring the shoulders underneath your body. Hold it right here. Five breaths. Great core and leg and breathing pose. I want to see your stomach pooch out. Let it lift. No shame. Look at, look at Sean's stomach. What is he doing? What is los here? <laughs> Two more breaths. Oh, we're having such a good time. What a great challenge this is, my friends. Make sure you let me know below if you want to see more. But as I said, in the about section below is my seven-day full yoga challenge. Also put my seven-day power yoga challenge there as well. So you just jump right onto those and always keep me posted. Always check in. All right, now keep the pelvis lifted. Take the arms out. We roll back down. Massage. Massage that spine. Healthy spine, healthy body. Okay, bring the knees in. <sighs> Extend the legs up. Reach for the sky. Lace the fingers. Index finger and thumb out. <sighs> Five breaths. Exhale, lift a little higher. Really pull that belly button in. Not bad. Once more, we have our bridge, pelvis tilts up, lift. Now, lace the fingers if you like, also walk the shoulders underneath. Another add-on, bring the legs and feet together. Hold it right here, five breaths, stay lifted, squeeze the legs. Gobs and gobs of breath, you're chugging it like you chug water or Gatorade or green tea or matcha. Very nice. One more breath. I want to see photos of y'all doing this with your teammates. Whatever sport you're doing, male, female, everyone, want to see it. With your coaches. All right, arms out, pelvis tilted up, roll down. Roll down, roll down, roll down. Okay, take the legs up. One more ab exercise here. I want you to drop the legs away. Keep your lower back down. Keep it strong. Push your pockets in. That's the most important part. Push your pockets. <laughs> Fingers back of the head. Exhale. Right leg comes in. 
Inhale, return to center. Return it back there. Exhale, left. You can go lower, but make sure this lower back doesn't lift. You can bend your knees. Becomes too intense. All right, from here, let's do 10 more slowly. If your neck feels stronger, take your arms back and reach up. Oh, that just blasts your abs into oblivion. If that's what you want. Let's do five more. Do 10 total. Oh my word. Oh, the speed, the strength. One more time. Up, grab that leg, stretch it towards you, and then pull it slightly across. Slightly across. Feel the stretch, IT band. You run, you're active, you're gonna feel a tightness. IT band is a thick fibrous tissue that goes from your hip bone around right about to your knee. You'll know it exists when you hit it with a foam roller or your massage therapist hits it. Oh, when I do it, I feel it reverb all the way down my leg, but nice stretch here. All right, switch sides, pull that right leg in and then across. Good, that leg, right leg's reaching away or drop it down. Two more breaths. Let's finish the abs. 50 crisscrosses. This is actually a Pilates move. I teach a lot of Pilates. You want to do Pilates with me, type in Sean Veig and Pilates on YouTube or Pilates for athletes, Sean Veig, and I'll keep you nice and busy. All right, chest to the knee 50 times. You ready? Just the chest, not the elbow. Two, four, five, six, seven, nine. Little burnout. 11, 12, 13. Come on, come on, do it. Let's get serious. 19, 20, 30 more. Two, Nine, ten, ten more, or twenty more, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. Let's slow down the last ten. Here we go. One, two, grind it out. Sparks coming off the abs. Flat, strong abdominals. The envy of all around. And last one. And bring the head down. Let's drop those legs side to side. All right. I want to keep going. Let's call it quits right there. Drop those legs back and forth, my friends. Check in below. This is day three. You can keep repeating the days, or as I said, the about section, move on to my seven day yoga challenge, full one, or my seven day power yoga challenges right there. Keep me posted. So great to train with you. Can't wait to hear all about it, how it helps, how it improves. And bring the knees in, take a deep breath. Power Yoga for Athletes, over 100 poses with photos, 25 full yoga flows, training logs for each sport, buy it wherever books are sold.